Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com with another short video about an important climate topic. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration massively tampers with the U.S. temperature record to turn a long-term cooling trend into a warming trend. And when confronted about this, they do not deny that they're doing it. They claim that they're making the data better by tampering with it. But with the global temperature record, they claim that their adjustments actually reduce warming rather than increase it. The global temperature record is an incoherent mess, so it's best to analyze it one region at a time. There's very little temperature data available from the year 1910 in South America, and a lot of it is located around Buenos Aires. So in this video, I'm going to focus on Buenos Aires and the five stations in Uruguay, which also have data from the year 1910. The data from Buenos Aires is scientifically worthless because it's located in the middle of a massive urban heat island. It's of no use for determining global climate trends because the climate trends there are due to local issues. NOAA claims that in their adjusted data for Buenos Aires, they reduced the amount of warming by about 50%. This would make the data slightly less awful, but it's still grossly inadequate. The only way to deal with UHI contaminated thermometers is to not use them. But there's another even bigger problem with this graph. It's fake. The data they're actually using in the GHCN v4 dataset actually increases warming at Buenos Aires rather than decreases it. This is their unadjusted data, which has a trend of 3.24 degrees Fahrenheit warming per century. And this is their final adjusted data, which has a slightly larger trend. NOAA claims that they're reducing the UHI trend at Buenos Aires, but in reality, they aren't. Then through the process of homogenization, they smear the UHI contaminated data from Buenos Aires into the surrounding stations in Uruguay. This is what the raw data looks like for those five stations in Uruguay. They have a small warming trend of 0.95 degrees Fahrenheit per century. But after NOAA smears in the UHI contaminated data from Buenos Aires, they almost triple the trend. Now it goes up to 2.64 degrees Fahrenheit. The unadjusted data from Uruguay has 0.95 degrees Fahrenheit per century trend but the adjusted data goes up to 2.64 degrees Fahrenheit per century. Outside of the metropolitan area, the area around Buenos Aires is likely warming very little, if at all. But after contaminating the data, they can create these sort of fake maps, which shows Buenos Aires and Uruguay warming a lot. And it's the same problem all over the world. These maps and graphs showing the Earth warming out of control are fake, they're based on bad data and bad methodology. Then this horrifically awful junk science is used by policymakers to make even worse energy policy. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the climate scam for almost 16 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.